All right, everybody, Gary and I have been working on the truck some more lately. Uh, we got the driver's side header just about done. It's actually the collector is actually uh, welded up right there. It's tack welded on there, but we've got the pri we've got all four of the primary tubes fabricated now. And uh, we've got them fully welded here. We still have to do a little bit. Of, we, we tack welded them back at the uh, header flange, uh, but they're all welded all the way around. Um, the, we, we're waiting for, we got to get a cone to go inside here on the collector. We're going to use like an like extended cone in the middle. And then we're going to weld this collector on. And then once we get that, it's got the V-band clamps where it's connected right there. And then that wastegate is going to go underneath here. We're going to put a mount, uh, on the bottom of the collector there. So that's kind of your high pressure area. And then a wastegate will sit in there and then we can dump that wastegate out by the tire. And the exhaust is going to come out here right by the fender right out the front of the tire and by the fender. And just so you can see, we have room in here. You have to put a spark plug socket in there and actually screw the spark plug in. Uh, but then we can get a wrench on it too. So that's all the stuff you gotta make sure. Uh, these flanges are super, super tight. We're probably gonna run 90 degree boots, go underneath, like drop them down off of a 90 degree boot and then come back and maybe mount the coils, maybe mount the coils back there on the firewall right there. So we'll see. Um, could maybe do it from the top 90 and coming up and maybe mount the coils on top of the valve cover so that's an option there too so it is coming along so there's where the turbo is going to sit and what we're going to do is we're going to make an air box right here that goes basically for where the front grill is coming in uh, we're going to make an air box that feeds both of the turbos so we got nice cool air coming in there so that's going to work out pretty anyways making a little bit of progress on that and uh Check out some of the other videos. We got a lot of other videos up there as well. Uh, this is coming along. Uh, we did put an air conditioner. We built and closed the room where we're working on the truck uh, kind of over the summer. So we have an air conditioner back there that actually is a heat pump too. So during the winter, we can keep it warm out here. Uh, this is the time of year. It's getting to be the fall. So my business, I'm in the AC business. So it slows down uh, on the winter for us and picks up next year in April or something like that. So uh, this gives us some time to actually work on the truck. So um, check it out. Um, let us know what you think. Uh, got a bunch of stuff going on here. We've got some throttle pedal assemblies that we're mounting. So there's gonna be adjustable assemblies. We've got in the back here, we have the fuel, we got a radiator mounted. We're gonna kind of enclose that. We got our intercooler tank back here. We got a big fuel cell back here. We got a water pump right there that's going to push everything. Uh, fuel filler right there. And we swing around. If you look at it, he's kind of, Gary's kind of mocked up that. It's going to be open here, so the hot air is going to come out through there. So hopefully that'll cool better. And we're finishing up the four link brackets, kind of mounted our tubs in there. So that's kind of what we're doing there. We kind of got some of the sheet metal. We, Gary's made a pattern. Uh, what we're going to have back there. So we're going to just put aluminum to kind of enclose that. So it's coming together. Uh, we've got our adjustable shock mounts. It's kind of hard to see right here there because they're back in there, but we have adjustable shock mounts. So we just want to raise or lower the truck just a little bit without having to redo all the four link mounts or moving the whole four link. We got that in there. It is coming along. There's a lot of stuff that we've been doing, making a lot of progress in it for quite a while uh just we actually were going to remount the turbos and put them way back by the firewall and we just couldn't it was just too much work so we ended up remounting them we pretty much wanted to put them up front like that uh, but we were trying to get more weight to the back we moved a bunch of other stuff to the back because we need to get a bunch of weight on the rear tires so it has a long wheelbase truck uh so getting some weight on the back is going to give us a little bit more of an issue. So uh, I think we're going to have plenty of rear weight bias. So, so anyways, thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, let us know what you think. Have a great day.